And Douglas Franks with Ernestine Franks and uh, CEAR.org. Ernest. Seer and also CoopWayPG.net. Thank you. Thank you. And is that waving in support? I'm here to speak. Yes. Oh, here to speak. Okay, come forward. Yes, come forward. Thank you for clarifying that. You're recognized. Go ahead. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairperson and uh, all the other subcommittee members here. My name is Doug Franks. Um, I'm here. I'm representing a group called AAA PG, Americans Against Abuse of Guardian, Probate Guardians, uh, .net. And um, I started this battle in 2012 with my mother, have been going to the Senate and the House to speak out, and quite frankly, nothing has changed in seven years to keep people like my mom that had advanced directives that testified in court that everything you're supposed to do, the judges make those decisions. They have judicial discretion, as you all know. The problem is with judicial discretion, we believe, and I can show this, this is a guardianship case. I won't be as dramatic as I was in the uh, Senate earlier today, but this is 17 pages. It's a, it's a good amount. This is my mom's case. This is $2 million. In Escambia County, this is another one. It's only 37 pages. In Escambia County, what do these two have in common in a little small county? Northwest Florida, where I'm from and my mom's from. Same guardian, same attorney firm. What does that tell you? It tells me there's colluding going on, but there's no recourse. The, the Office of uh, uh, Public and Private Guardians was set up, and it has no teeth. It's a paper tiger. We have to have accountability. This bill I'm going to support, but it's just a small, it is really a Band-Aid on a, a cruise missile coming at us. I mean, it's, it's just not enough. Not enough for seven years. We gotta have something big, different, and change things. So a solution, what I'd like to see, and other members of my group, is to have some type of citizen jury so that we can look at guardianship cases that are questionable. Mine was definitely questionable. There's so many different things that didn't go right. But again, this is little Pensacola, Florida. This isn't the big, huge metropolitan areas that are in the rest of Florida, and it's going on, and instead of having 37, there's probably 87 or 107 pages. So the money's there for attorneys to get and for guardians to get and all the people that feed. But who lets the gate open? The judges. The judges have the key, and they know. And if they don't, they either need to be educated or they need to be replaced. So again, if we have a citizen jury, we can look at cases, and, and these will be citizens of Florida, not uh, attorneys and judges, but citizens that can look at something and kind of common law say and common sense say, something's gone wrong. This is not right. This is bad. I freed my mom after uh, four and a half years of fighting. And again, there wasn't any legislation that happened that got her free. It was me fighting. No job. I don't make money. I lose money. But it's, it's important to me now. My mom's gone. She lived for 45 days. But it's important for me to keep coming to these events these subcommittee hearings, and speaking out and, and showing, hey, I, I'm involved. And there's a lot of other people that are involved, too. So many people just don't have the power anymore. They have been beaten down. And this is, you definitely get beaten down. So uh, there is a, a documentary. It's called uh, The Guardian. You can get it on Netflix and uh, uh, iTunes. This is uh, Dr. Sam Sugar's uh, book that he's made that's about the perfect crime, about elder abuse, and it's really mostly in the state of Florida, but it's all around the United States It's happening. So in closing, I want to say I support this bill. I didn't support the one earlier because as Senator Pasadena, we've had seven years. We need to have more to happen. It's just not acceptable. So um, I hope we can continue to um, move on and we really need to kind of look at this at a whole different light and make some major changes this year, 2020, so that next year, 2021, new legislation can be uh, brought up and we can have the real changes that we need so that we can protect the elderly. I appreciate your time. Any questions? Mr. Franks, thank you for your uh, input and thank you for coming to Tallahassee today to speak to us about it. Questions? Ranking Member Pritchett, go ahead. You're recognized. 
Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you for your presentation. I'm wondering, have you had an opportunity or taken the opportunity to speak with Rep. Burton regarding this bill and what you, you what your thoughts are that have been articulated here today? You're recognized. No, I have not. I have talked to Senator Pasadoma, which, again, I believe that they both work together on this bill, but I'd be more than happy to talk to her and any other members of the House and Senate. Currently, I do live in Georgia. I'm not a Florida citizen, but I was a Florida citizen for 23 years in Pensacola, Florida. My mom and dad, they both worked at Pensacola or NAS Pensacola. They were proud, they were proud Americans, and I am a proud American, and I'm a proud native Floridian, and this is my state, and I want to protect people here. So again, I'll be more than happy to correspond with her and anyone that wants to speak to me. There's a website called freeernestine.com. When you read it, you won't believe it. You just will not believe it. So thanks again, and uh, if there's no more questions, I won't take any more of your time. Ranking member, did you have a follow-up? Go ahead. Yes, thank you very much. And you did express you will speak with her, hopefully, before returning to Georgia. No, I'm yeah, just kidding. Well, I can. Uh, <laughs> okay. I have some stories. But anyway, yes, i definitely <laughs> like to speak to her maybe after this meeting's over. I'd All right. be available. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Chair. Ranking You're member. Uh, members, any additional questions for Mr. Franks? Okay, thank you again for making the trip today. We thank appreciate you. It. Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Uh, our final appearance card, Greg Pound. Mr. Pound? You're recognized. Good afternoon.